Well, uh, I think this is quite wintry. Um, I wrote it in July. <laughs> um, mammoths um, lived until um, only 3,000 years ago in North China. Um, and uh, some were beaten by climate, um, but they were almost certainly wiped out by humans. Uh, and I think we owe them. Um, this is called Freeing a Mammoth. I peer uncertainly at the shards of the great ice tower, trying to pick out the dark veins within. I had walked for some hours across the cold expanse of unremitting grey, wary in case of unstable ground or a lone polar bear, a blizzard the cause that I lost my way. Or did I lose it years ago? The bleak and the blinding sidelong onslaught of relentless flecks devoid of light meant I could never retrace the day. It is clear now the dripping of algae blue water, toy methane volcanoes are popping in the air. I see the white point of her ice picked tusk emerging at eye level, enormous and grand. I make out the form of a creased, half bent knee, and then I discover the great Hoover trunk, weathered but poised to break into my time explore the fresh air. This creature, like a giant infant blinking from a cracked open egg, hairy but bald, no dinosaur feathers on this baby, and through the translucence her cool longing stare. I am frightened to be the first one in thousands of years to meet your gaze and walk around behind you. I muse that you were not to know you were the last of your kind. I think of an era when big meant peaceful, a society led by caring mothers, overtaken in time by a tsunami freeze, the end of their everything, the end of a race, a furry tale ending. Unless this intervention in your suspended animation were to bring you before the best brains of a species who outlived you, who could introduce your cells to those of an elephant who's still here, if they could bring back two of you, what do you think? Would you like to defy extinction and live again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.